It is Championship Saturday in college football. Mark Rogers TV with your ACC preview. Clemson and Virginia Tech, of course. The Tigers defeated North Carolina last year for the 2015 ACC title. Virginia Tech makes it back for the first time since 2011. There was a time when the Hokies were a mainstay in this game five of seven years. People making a huge deal on the national scene about Clemson being up and down. The big wins against Florida State in Louisville, the dominance of a number of teams including South Carolina, 56-7 last week. But the Tigers have been down. They needed a missed chip shot field goal against NC State to survive there. They did not survive the Pitt Panthers 43-42. But Virginia Tech's been up and down. They've looked like the dominant team in the division most of the season and against the better teams. They defeated North Carolina. They blew out the heels 34-3. They blew out uh, Miami. Looked like the much better team in the second half, 37-16. They've looked very impressive on occasion, and fortunately for them, they've done it at the right times against the right teams. But this is also a Hokies squad that lost to Syracuse. They lost to Syracuse. Let that sink in. They lost to Georgia Tech 30-20. The Jackets will go bowling, but just barely at 6-6. Six and six. Okay, what has saved the Hokies this season is a pass offense. Yes, the passing offense at Virginia Tech. This has been one of the most boring and one of the most predictable offenses in college football over the last few years under Frank Beamer. But now that Justin Fuente has taken over, it's a dynamic passing offense. And they've got a dynamic player at quarterback for the first time in a few years in Gerard Evans. So... Uh, it's not Brendan Motley, who's now the backup. It's not Michael Brewer, who was a pocket passer, a very precision passer, but had limitations physically, got beat up, and couldn't escape uh, most of the time. So a dynamic quarterback in Juco transfer, Brendan or um, Gerard Evans, with 26 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, and with all the star power at quarterback in the ACC, Deshaun Watson, Lamar Jackson, Brad Kaya, on down the line, Mitch Trubisky, the number one rated passer in the ACC, Gerard Evans. Also chipped in with 713 yards on the ground and eight touchdowns. That could be huge in this game because the Virginia Tech running game in recent weeks has not been active. Trayvon McMillan banged up. The receiving core of Virginia Tech, one of the very best in the nation. I'm not overstating that. Isaiah Ford's as good as they come. 67 receptions, 9 touchdowns. Uh, Cam Phillips, uh, a solid number 2 guy. 58 catches, 4 touchdowns. Bucky Hodges, call him a tight end. Yeah, he lines up in line at times, but most of the time he's a mismatch outside. 42 catches, 7 touchdowns. And how about Sam Rogers? This is a guy that in the big games, in big spots on 3rd down, comes up with some big catches, most notably against Pitt, against Miami. He came up with big receptions in those games. He's a blocker. He's a runner. He ran for 4.2 yards per carry. Clemson defensively, a monster. Despite losing all that talent to the NFL draft last year, uh, Carlos Watkins, eight sacks, seven and a half tackles for loss. Christian Wilkins, he does it in special teams as well, maybe saved this season against NC State. He had 12 tackles for loss. Dexter Lawrence, a first-team all-conference performer up front, and those guys just allow Ben Bulwer to play with his hair on fire. He leads Clemson with 95 total tackles and nine tackles for loss. Clemson offensively, wow, they're this good. They have nine players on the offensive side of the football, most of them juniors, who rank in the top 10 status at their positions for the NFL draft led by, of course, Deshaun Watson. He threw interceptions early. He's ironed it out. 14 picks, but in the last three games, 10 touchdowns, 74% passing. He doesn't run as much this season as he did last year. 207 attempts on the ground last season for Deshaun. DW4 with 113 carries, but much like JT Barrett at Ohio State, when Clemson needs big plays and they say, hey, <laughs> this game's on the line and we need our quarterback. He may get beat up, but we need him to run the ball and be a threat. That's when Deshaun Watson comes through. 
Notice the, the statistics and the big plays on the ground for Watson against Florida State and against Louisville. Mike Williams has come back from injury and been amazing this year, <clears throat> especially in the last few weeks. He's, he's just abused defenders. So not just the numbers here, but you got to check out the highlights with Mike Williams abusing some top-level cornerbacks, 79 catches, 1,114 yards, and 10 touchdowns. Artavis Scott. A great number two guy in 64 catches, and really Deion Kane has nine touchdown receptions. Clemson with, we, we mentioned Virginia Tech having one of the best receiving cores in the country looking at the top three, but Clemson has a ton of guys who are threats in the passing game. They go up against a secondary that has the two excellent safeties. They've got the two corners and Greg Stroman with three picks and Brandon Faison. Uh, and so Virginia Tech loaded uh, in the secondary, but of course the pass rush is going to be crucial for this team, um, taking on Wayne Gallman as well, who had a bit of a slump. He was banged up midseason, but the last two weeks, 100-plus yardage for Wayne Gallman. Great sign as Clemson prepares to win the ACC, get to the college football playoff, because Gallman was huge against Oklahoma in the semifinal last year. Also want to mention, as we flip back to the Virginia Tech offense, that Brent Venables, what a job he's done with the Clemson uh, defensive unit, and he just has so much talent uh, to deal with versus what they had at Clemson five years ago where they had talent in spots on defense. The recruiting has been insane, and Venables has turned units that performed in the 60-65 range nationally five years ago up to 64-24 and in the top 10 in defense in the nation the last three years. This will be an entertaining game. Virginia Tech has a puncher's chance. I would not be shocked if they won this game. You can't go against Clemson, though. They really have no weaknesses. Uh, this football team wins it. First prediction of Championship Saturday right here on Mark Rogers TV. Clemson 37, Virginia Tech 23. We need to hear from you on Mark Rogers TV.